YouTube, what is going on, you guys? All right, man. I hope everyone's doing good out there. Finally, we have some nice weather out here in California because we have been pounded this winter with rain. So, yeah, just enjoying this weather and out here to do a video for you guys. And today I'm going to show you all what I have done and what you can do also to transform your standard Explorer into a custom sport package as you can see here and I'll go through everything uh, let you know what I've done and what I'm talking about here so as you know most XLTs and limiteds they come, you know, with the, all the chrome all the way around the car and everything. But uh, I know there's a sport appearance package, but that sport appearance package comes with gray accents instead of black like this, right? Which is also, which is okay, right? The sport appearance it does look pretty cool all in gray rather than the chrome, right? So when I purchased this guy, it was all chrome, standard looking uh, Explorer. So, but as you can see, I've done quite a few things here. And so number one is the grill. As you can see, it's nice and black now. I painted the grill and I did not do a video on this uh, when I painted it, but basically what I did is I just used painter's tape all around the edge there, uh, you know, tucked it in as much as possible. And then on the outside, you know, I popped up the hood and on the outside, I covered it with, uh, you know, plastic, right? A big roll of plastic that I have just to kind of cover the car and then paint the painted the grill glossy black which really I, I think it really came out great on to the side here as you can see I have a video on what I did with the wheels right so the wheels I painted those wheels black and the calipers right so I'm not sure right now in the Sun if you can if you can see there you go so there's the red calipers and the black wheels nice and shiny and glossy black all the way around plus i have spacers in these guys too now i did a video where i did the spacers on these and originally i had one inch spacers which are the 25 millimeter all the way around right all four corners but you know the wheels on the on the backs the back wheels of all explorers they are tucked in quite a bit more actually than the fronts um, and that's probably because of the curvature of the front you know, fender here whereas in the back it just kind of sticks out a little bit more as you can see right right there on the top right so so even with the one inch spacer on the back the wheel was still pretty much inside the well there and it just didn't look right so I put one and a half on the back and kept the same one inch on the front which really really look amazing as you can see you got the wheel there right up to the edge to the corner of the or to the edge of the fender right so it's really makes a really big difference like that you guys for my taste anyway i think this looks wonderful so let me take you down here at the bottom as you can see I have the red Explorer letters that I put in here. These are just like decals. You can stick them on there, and but they really make a huge dif difference. I thought it would look kind of tacky, but I think it really looks great. And it matches the red calipers really nice. And then uh, over here, so this door trim down here was also chrome. As you can see, these are covers now. These are not painted. These are covers that you can put on with double sticky tape. I actually put extra double sticky tape just to kind of make it a little bit stronger. And so as you can see, we have the black door handles here. These are covers as well, but man, they just make a really nice pop. Uh, they also have the little hole as you can see there. So when you lock your car, you just put the, you know, your fingertip there. And then lastly here on the side of the car, I have the window visors as you can see. Let me go back here. So as you can see, you got the window visors there. And I really like these guys because they actually have the word Explorer embedded on them. So yeah, really, really nice touch there. 
So yeah, that's the side of the car here on the top. I painted these rails here. As you can see, they're black glossy now. So I painted those guys and I added the the racks as well. So I bought those racks off of uh, uh, eBay, I believe. Yeah, eBay, I got the racks. I like these racks. They're really nice and thin. They're very strong. They also, you don't hear any wind noise from the top either, from, from the racks anyway, right? So yeah, those are, uh, I, I really like those guys. So as you can see, everything now is blacked out. Let me see if I can go a little bit further here. Give you a side shot. Bam, there it is, you guys. So moving along the back, what did we do to the back side? For the back side, as you can see here, also on the rear door here, that little veil here, I, you know, this is a cover as well. And as you can see, it's got the word Explorer embedded on it as well. So this is a cover, double sticky tape. The only thing about this guy is it does not have a little tiny arrow just kind of pointing where the button under here is, but this cover doesn't have it. But anyway, you can barely see that little black arrow anyway on, on the cover there, right? But that's pretty much, oh no, so what we replaced this guy. So the original one I did not like, it looks terrible. It's just a strip like this and it has the word EcoBoost on it with a tiny little 4WD on it. So I took that guy off and I put that. I think that looks much better and I blacked out the, the limited uh, lettering there. But for the rear, that's pretty much it. That's all I've got here. You can see my cool little uh, frame here, Ford Racing. There you go. And what else did we do here on the side? So the side, obviously the same thing on this side, you guys. But just to kind of show you here what it looks like. Bam. There we go. So those are the things that I've done to really transform the look of this Explorer. It looks much nicer, in my opinion anyway, in all black. You know, you can, uh, kind of similar to the ST or the ST line, and somewhat similar, again, to the Sport Appearance Package. But again, the Sport Appearance Package, everything is gray, right? Inside the car, let's see what we have done. All right, you guys, so inside the car, as you can see, you got these leather seat covers. But as you can see here on the steering wheel, same thing. I got this steering wheel cover, and as you can see, it's got these little ridges here on the back side for your fingers. And this guy feels really good. I, I really like the, the feel of this um, uh, steering wheel cover. Other mods inside the car, the only mod I've done is the speaker disconnected this center speaker. I don't like the sound coming out of that guy. Uh, to me, it sounds a lot better. And then I do have a video where I have that dongle. I introduced that Android Auto CarPlay, Apple CarPlay Android dongle. This thing is freaking amazing. I really like it. You can do a lot of stuff. You can watch, you know, Netflix, uh, YouTube, whatever, man. Uh, and the sound coming from that guy using the VLC music app. Holy crap, yeah, it's really, really, really good, you guys. So let me take you to the back seat. So here are the back seat, you guys, the two captain's chairs, as you can see, I got the seat covers as well on here. Really helps. Uh, just to kind of save and protect them and it also adds a little bit of color inside right because you know as you can see I have the ebony that Ford calls the in interior is all black right so you know just by adding these guys it adds a little bit of color I don't have any color any seat covers on the back I haven't found any that you know they make for the for the rear so in case if you guys find any let me know in the description below man or post a comment post a comment for me please and uh we'll see if we can get them so yeah what do you guys think man you guys like the original look or a little sporty for me yeah i much prefer this look here now i'm gonna show you guys some dirty bastard already dented my my door here um opening their doors you can see it left down to the down to the bare metal man Dang it. 
I'll have to get that fixed maybe. But yeah, this is it, you guys. All done in terms of uh, appearance mods for now anyway. I gotta do the rear, just that limited abbreviation. I'm not sure what else I can do, man. I think it looks pretty, pretty dang cool in my opinion for now anyway. So, yep, this is how you guys can transform your standard Explorer into, you know, a little something more sporty looking, right? A little more appealing. So, cool, you guys. Let me know your thoughts, man. And if you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. So, thanks for everyone who has subscribed to the channel, man. I really appreciate it, you guys. So with that, stay tuned for the next one, man. Thank you. Peace.